Hello fellow colorists, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jody, and today's video is going to be a quick catch up on where we're at with my 10 books to touch and books to finish for quarter two. So every quarter I do a recap of where I'm at just to kind of keep myself accountable. And I also wanted to participate in the mid-year free coat tag. I did it last July and I wanted to uh, do it again. It's going around. It's a tag that was created by Sassy's Coloring and recently I also watched uh, Coloring with Kay complete it on her channel. So I will link both those ladies in the description below so you can check them out as well. And also in the description will be the questions for that tag. But before we get to the tag, I want to jump to where we're at with my books. So here I've got my books to touch. I did five books to touch uh, in 2023. And so for the first and second quarter, so we will just be looking at the second quarter. So in second quarter, I finally opened up and did a page in Kirby Roseanne's Fragile World. I did this page here. It was a buddy color with uh, Laura from Kaleidoscope Colors. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. It does have lots of uh, sparkle and shine when you move it in light. Really happy with how it turned out. Happy to finally touch this book. And then in July I have also done a double page spread for Shark Week. So you will see that next on Sunday actually. The other book, I had already touched Disney Dreams, the Thomas Kincaid book. I did another page in that. And that page was, that prompt was for Spicy Cat Disney's Snow White. And that was in June. So I did this page. And that was in Disney's Thomas Kincaid. The other book that I finally touched was Flowerscape by Maggie Enteros. And I got this book actually last year. So it has taken uh, me quite a while to finally get up to coloring in it and I actually did this twin flower page and I used one of my bottle stickers um, and I made the flowers into a vase and then I did a pastel background with a bunch of uh, different colored circles. So yeah, so I was happy to have finally uh, touched one page. I haven't touched anything else in this book so I will have to work at uh, getting back to that. And so I only have uh, one book left that I had not touched at all and that was Watercolor with Me in the Forest and that is touched in July. So for my books to touch I have gotten uh, four out of five to the end of uh, second quarter and in the first quarter or the third quarter I should say I did finish the last one. So really happy with that. Now let's go to the books to finish. I have six books listed on this. Uh, Romantic Country by Erie. I am still working on that. I did complete another three pages in the second quarter, but I still have 13 pages left. So I'm still uh, working on wanting to finish this book. So I'll put 13 here. The Aria Veil, I, I completed two pages. I was ahead of the curve with uh, some of the other People. So I've just kind of been waiting and holding back finishing that book. Um, I am doing it with the group buddy color hosted by Pixies Projects. So that will be finished in this third quarter. The Way Home is the same. I had already done a bunch ahead of time. I did two more. I have five left at the end of June. And so that's coming along. The Ink House by Rory Dobner. I did four pages. Most of them were buddy colors with Pixie from Pic Pixie's Projects and uh, so I still have a long way to go. I have um, 39 pages left. Mouse Guard I did not get to at all and then the Peter Rabbit I still have not gotten back to so uh, I've had a lot of coloring going on but not necessarily in the books that I want to finish. I've been uh, doing a lot of buddy colors and group color longs and that's kind of uh, sidetracked me a little bit so I may have to uh, adjust my coloring in the next quarter. Uh, th the other thing I did was I did 
picked four illustrators to focus on. So I've been doing quite a few Lulu Mayo, Rita Berman, Johanna Basford, and Maria Trolley. So those are all going along. And uh, yeah, still getting lots done. And that is an update on my books to touch and books to finish. The next section of this video is going to be dedicated to the mid-year freakout tag. It's for the adult coloring version. This uh, mid-year freakout tag was originally started about book reading and then Sassy Colors adapted it to be about uh, coloring. And so we obviously are doing the coloring questions. Okay, so I've pulled out the books I want to touch. It says, best picture you have colored so far in 2023. And I've picked two, and I'll let you be the judge. Um, the first one is from just recently, last month, I did this double page spread uh, of sea turtles. And I'm really pleased with how it came out. It was a color along on my channel, or a color and chat on my channel. And I did it... Um, as a buddy color also with uh, Laura from Kaleidoscopic Colors. So there is this page I'm very happy with. The second page that I'm happy uh, with or quite pleased with is a first page done out of Mythographic Voyager by Joseph Katabang. And it's this page. I used a color palette and I really like this page because I pushed myself out of my color comfort zone. So I've got like blue flowers and a blue fish and uh, different colors. I use some glossy accents just on the rim of the bottle and uh, some stickles on the waves. So pretty happy with how this turned out for my first page in the book. And this was also a buddy color with Laura from Kaleidoscopic Colors. So those are the two pages uh, that I think I'm most happy with. There was a few Lulu Mayo pages that were also pretty pretty pleasing, but those won out, I think. What is your most colored, colored in book in 2023? And I would have to say, for me, it is Sea of Colors. And that's for a few reasons. Uh, so the Sea of Colors uh, by Angela Gonzalez, and it certainly isn't for the paper. Um, but I have been participating in Amanda Colors group Color Along every month. Also, Amanda and I have been doing a buddy color in this book. So I have done 12 pages so far in this book this year. So quite a variety of pages. Lots of fun. I did some gesso testing here. And Daniel Smith watercolor here. So I've been using this book um, also to like test out some backgrounds and uh, all kinds of things. So I've had a lot of fun with the cute pictures. And actually, because the paper has been such a challenge, I've been in this book trying to find out what makes it work or what can work on it. And uh, yeah, so having lots of fun. So that's Sea of Colors, color, Sea of Colors coloring book by Angela Gonzalez and I've done 12 pages so far. Number Question number three, a newly released coloring book you have not colored in yet but want to and it's maybe not newly released in fact it's an old release but I did uh, order it and found it and that is Lulu Mayo's A Million Bears. I got this about a month ago now and I haven't had a chance yet to color in it, but they've got some super cute. I love pandas. So uh, it's got pandas and then regular bears as well. I'm looking forward to getting into this book and coloring it. I also have a million owls that I got at the same time. And I have not colored in this book yet, but I will be in July. So this is also coming up. Next question is, Number four, the most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Um, the only book that I kind of know of that I've been waiting for or looking forward to at least looking at before I purchase is Joanna Basford's Small Victories. I'm interested to seeing if she's just shrinking down her pictures again because I really do not like her miniature books. 
Uh, all she did with her miniature books was shrunk the actual picture down and then you really you need to use a fine liner in that book or nothing so I'm not happy with her miniature books so before I uh, purchase her small victories I will be looking at a few uh, flip throughs and uh, otherwise I am looking forward to that question number five favorite new artist or publishing company that you discovered in 2023 and that would be mythographic I know they've been around forever but I have not personally purchased one before this year I purchased this from book depository uh, or sorry book outlet uh, so it was a discount and I'm really happy uh, with the quality of paper I love that it's one-sided it's nice paper uh, it's perforated so even when I disc bound it uh, the perforations are still on the other side of the disc binding so if I wanted to uh, cut this out for framing you could still do so so I'm really happy that I found uh, mythographic I'm also extremely happy that there are no little hidden objects in this one and it's pictures that I actually can look at and understand the brand new mythographic one I will not be getting the pictures are too confusing um, not my cup of tea um, so these ones at least I can understand what's going on in the picture and uh, color so that's uh, Joseph Catabang's voyage mythographic next question number six is did you try any new coloring techniques this year I've been trying a few markers so I've bought some Copic Chows um, and I recently purchased the Karen brush pro those are water-based or ink based markers uh, the alcohol markers have not I, I love the Copics but I am just not good at uh, making them streak free so markers I'm still a pencil colored pencil person and uh, probably always will be but uh, I have been trying markers a little bit this year number seven what book do you want to finish most this year and unfortunately it's the same book as I said last year um, shortly after last year's free coat tag um, my husband actually passed away and so that kind of derailed me uh, for finishing this book so I believe last year at this time I had 21 pages left I have 13 now so I would like to finish this eerie book the romantics country the second tale soon um, I am getting there but the pages that are left are like huge double spread complicated ones um, so they're the ones that I've kind of been putting off because that's uh, a whole lot of coloring and that takes uh, a few days to uh, to color and concentrate on so I will get there but yes this is the book I am still trying to finish number eight have you completed any coloring books this year and no not yet uh, I hope too soon but uh, probably closer to the end of the year for me um, reasonably that's just the way it's going to be um, although the area veil and the grogu uh, the way home those will also be finished probably before romantic country too so those are coming up pretty quick question number nine is there any coloring book that you bought this year that you regret and yes actually there is which is a little surprising i bought this from book outlet uh, ca it's extreme coloring tattoos um, it's just I bought it you don't get flipped throughs there um, you don't get even pictures of what any of the pages look like and these pages are just too too fine detailed for me um, they're like I don't even know how a fine liner can get into those small areas so it's a little bit like Millie Murata's style and that just isn't my jam so I really have no idea what I'm going to do with this book I don't know if I will pass it on to somebody else or just uh, learn how to color in a different way in these books but um, yeah what would you suggest for a, a book like this or do you have this book and have you successfully colored in it I mean it's uh, yeah 
So this Extreme Coloring Tattoos, and I'm not even sure who it's by. It's published by Barron's. Yeah, they don't have a just one specific person in here that's the artist. So, yeah, not my best purchase. Question number 10. If you could recommend any coloring book that was released this year, what would it be? And I would say that it is Maria Trolley's Universum. I do have a flip through on my channel. This is the sweetest version, but the English version is being released in July of 2023. And it is available on Amazon and uh, bookstores, I believe. But um, it's a compendium of all her other books but it also has 22 unique pictures for this book itself. It has 88 pictures in the book, so it's, it's huge. It's got the lovely cream colored paper. It colors nice with pencils. You can use some pastels. I use watercolor on this page. So it's good for a bunch of different mediums. Of course, you're not soaking the page when you're using the watercolor. In fact, I probably, used uh, gesso on this or Daniel Smith watercolor ground to prepare the page. But yeah, really happy with this book. I would recommend it for anybody. She also has the uh, registers at the back for both the plants and the insects. And my, I wish I had waited for the English version that came out in July, but I did buy this from book outlet because I wasn't or book depository uh, because I didn't know when the uh, English version was going to be available and uh, yeah so this is the Swedish version I'm very happy to have it so those are my 10 answers to the 10 questions for the mid-year freak out tag I am going to tag Amanda Colors channel from YouTube and also Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. She did it last year. I'm not sure if Amanda got to it last year, but I welcome both those channels to go ahead and uh, do this tag. The questions are in the description below. And again, tag myself and uh, Sassy Colors, the original person who started this tag. I hope you had a good time uh, finding out a little bit about uh, what I've been up to this year and the books I've been working in. And until next time, I hope you're having a colorful and creative week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.